Ladies and gents, uh, welcome to the Barometer 2018 in Kiev. I guess most of you people are from Kiev, but I believe and I hope that we have some nice people from other countries. Who is a bartender here? Please raise your hands. You have me? You have me. Are you bartenders? You? You? Da. Da, da, da. Okay. So what about the other people? Are you just customers? Are you just like to drink? No. Okay, fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, I have no words to say uh, that I'm very, very happy and proud that you people, especially the bartenders, woke up so early to come over here to listen to me. I don't know why you've done these things to yourself. But a big, big thank you for that. Yeah, I didn't expect it. And so let's start. My name is Thanos Prunarus. I'm a bartender like you. I started bartending in 1999. That means almost 20 years ago. And I started bartending in London. Then I returned back to Athens where I was born and raised, and I, you could say that I'm a, an Athenian. This is Athens, or part of it, um, is our beloved city. It's a big metropolis of five million people, and um, it's the place where we create. The last um, eight years, um, probably you know a little bit about that, because you, you probably experience some problems like ours, we had a big financial crisis. And that had a lot of negative effects, but it also had some positive effects. And the positive effects, it was that young people had to create. It was the only choice they had. There were no jobs around, so the only thing they had to do is think. Okay, what are we doing now? So we had a very positive effect that worked as a snowball. Big creativity in the streets of Athens. And we love that. Now, 10 years ago, we opened uh, the bar called Baba Ram. And I would love to show you a short video about it so you know what I'm talking about. Enjoy. These are our toilets. It's a water closet. It's a tiki, exotic toilet. The bar is not a tiki bar, but the toilets are. You probably understand that the bar, which is called Baba O Ram, it's a rum bar. So these are some rums. This beautiful guy is me. Thank, thank you.
I'm a little embarrassed with this last scene, but uh, yeah, it's, um, it doesn't matter. Shit happens. Um, so, do you know this guy over here? Who knows this man over here? Who knows him as the king? Mm, okay, this is, okay, let's, let's make it clear because they asked me before, why you have a man there? It's not a man, it's Elvis Presley. Okay, thank you. So, uh, this is the House of Spirits, a Roman cocktail society, as we like to call ourselves. It's the, this is the bar that Richard Drew is rum and find drinking to the Athenians. When we opened about 10 years ago, we still do it, we believe, with an extended cocktail menu inspired by the avant-garde social and art movement. And what does that mean? Probably we're going to see later, but the best thing you, can to, you have to do is come, by or come over the bar and see by yourself. Um, so you can see the kind of uh, our interior in a way. Um, do you like it? Who likes this thing? Can you raise your hand? Okay, for those who like it, I have to tell you that I made it. For the others, I'm not going to tell you that. Okay? Um, so it's a kind of, uh, you can say an exotic, but also urban um, design. And uh, as you understand, it's a, it's a rum bar, and it holds about 350 rum labels. But the thing is that we don't like to have a selection and say, oh, how beautiful, look at it. It's that we love to taste them and drink them. And uh, I think we do is that we know all our rums we have there and we serve them. So if you come to my bar and ask for a rum, there's a possibility to taste all these 350 different rums because we know it. We love rum and we live rum and we travel for rum. Of course, the bar is not only about rum. We have um, a big spirit selection of all drinks. We have a very big, big whiskey selection. We have the biggest Geneva selection in Greece. That means 16 bottles. Yeah? It's big. Geneva, come on, it's Geneva. <laughs> and we also have the biggest Amaro selection. We have 13 bottles. Also big selection. Come on, who has 13 Amaros? Yeah? Right? No? Yeah? I'm talking to you. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, now I will introduce you to some of the people who work to the bar, because you can find them in the main bar um, here in Barometer and taste some of our drinks. Although I believe that the main thing when you go to a bar, when you visit a bar, is to feel the atmosphere and uh, to smell the people who are there and to talk with the bartenders and have this uh, human experience. Drinks are good as well. Uh, so if you don't come over today, if you don't come over, go over today to Babo Ram in Athens, you can visit us here, this time we have, and you will see there Phaethon. He's a great guy, will be very happy to meet you. And Nikos is that guy over there. The other guy is Elias, also a very experienced bartender. What I like to tell you is, um, if they ask me why I believe that Baba Ram is a successful bar, I would say mostly one thing. Both Fedon, Nikos on the right, and Elias on the left, who are, my, who are the Baba Ram's main bartenders, work there for the last six years. You know, the bartenders that this is a long, long time. Something good is happening here, and the people love it. So me, as an owner and bartender as well, probably, I, I try to make them feel that this is their bar, this is their home. Please um, treat it like your home. And this works. And this is something I would suggest everyone, if there's any bar owners here, make your employees feel like it's their bar. Give them whatever they love. Um, this is the bar as well. The guy uh, at the back that pointed us, it's our bar back. It's a new uh, guy in the bar industry. Now he's learning, you know, with a, with a long hair. He's our bar back, yeah. Um, and this is Alviona, is one of our waitresses. You see the passion that she has? 
And unfortunately, she's like that all the time. Very passionate. Um, yeah, these are the guys that you're going to meet tonight, today, at the barometer place. Okay, now a few talks about the drinks and the menu. We said before that we have the so-called avant-garde um, cocktails, uh, which is inspired by the avant-garde art and social movement. That was a movement that started from, uh, uh, we could say, other ground artists in the 1920s, almost 100 years ago, and it's still, um, still uh, in, um, still, it's still here anyway. Um, it's about all the different kind of arts, and it's about the new thing that, it's about the anti-conformist thing. Um, except the avant-garde um, cocktails, we have in the menu the Rum Society cocktails, where you can find an extended rum cocktail drinks, which is, you can see here uh, a little bit of our design of the menu. That's why I'm showing these pictures. Um, we continue. This is our logo, Save the Night Support, our motto. Save the Night Support, nice bars. Um, some small, this is our design. I don't know if you like it, what do you think? It's part of our avant-garde design. This is Mr. Baba on the right. So it's a new approach to classics. What is the avant-garde drinks? How we think about them. It's, it's the new approach to classics. When we opened in 2009, what we've done is, Athens was always a very vivid city. Let's start from there. With a lot of bars and a lot of street culture. And because of the weather, which is almost always warm, people like to live outside in the streets. Yeah? They eat in the streets, they drink in the streets, they do almost everything outside. They love that. So most of the bars, the bar culture is like street bars. Baba Ram is in front of a pedestrian, and we serve outside a lot. That means that uh, the bar can turn to a really high volume bar on a Saturday night in the summer days when everybody's out and the pedestrian outside is really packed by happy people. And the good thing is that we, the Athenians, I would say that they go out very often, they like to drink, but they have a very well behavior when they're out. It's uh, in our bar at least the last 10 years where we open, it's very, very, very rare to see bad behaviors or drunk people which is something we love. So, when we opened in 2009, people were already out visiting bars, all these hundreds of bars around them. But we opened and say, okay, hello, here we are. Uh, we're going to serve you something different, like, you know, cocktails and mixed drinks start to serve in 19th century, from 1850 or maybe earlier. So people entered the bar back in 2009 and said, hey, hi, Thanos, we fed you had nice cocktails, can I have a mojito? Of course you can have a mojito, but why you want a mojito? Is that because uh, you don't know anything else to drink or because it's your favorite? So uh, you can understand that nine out of 10, they answer uh, because we don't know what else to drink. Okay, that's why we are here, okay? And we have this election. And some people answer back that, um, you know, I'm classic. I will stay to a mojito. And we say, are you more classic than this brandy crasta that is dated back to 1850s? Say, what? 1850s? Well, I mixed drinks back then. Yes, they were. That was fantastic for the people. They start to discover a new world, and they loved that. But for us, it wasn't easy, because we had to... Um, to, to, to have a, a continuous struggle, like every single person who entered the bar, the first two years, we have to explain that story. You know, you are here for a different kind of drinking adventure. So, are you with us? Go? Yes. They were very, very exciting. I was really surprised 
by uh, how open-minded the Athenians were, especially, of course, the younger people. Now, those younger people that they were 20 years old back then, now they are 30, 35, and it's our basic clientele, and we love that. And they know how to drink. And now when they come to our place, you know, we don't have to say, uh, do you want a mojito because blah, 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 blah? No, they know. They know already. And now they enter the bar, and they know, and they are ready to have an experience, a drinking experience. Um, so, classic cocktails, like from the 19th century. We serve them, people love them, we say, okay, now what? Now we take the classic cocktails, and we don't just make a twist, we use the technology that happily came to our hands and do very different things. Yeah? Um, like, you can read, and the guys over there can explain you, can translate what it says here, to understand probably a little bit of our philosophy. Uh, we say that uh, our favorite modernist artist, Marcel Duchamp, will say that I have forced myself to contradict to myself in order to avoid conforming to my own taste. Or, at the end, you can say always that avant-garde, it's friend's word for bullshit. It's up to you. Um, so that's a drink we make. We call it Fluxus Milk Punch. Does anyone know what was the Fluxus art movement? Okay, time. Okay, I'm very happy that I'm giving you food for thought. Yeah? So we say what, that with a do-it-yourself attitude of simple complexity, or the opposite, uh, we mix Spanish brandy and Jamaican edge rum. Cherry brandy as well goes into spices with a lot of different shapes and ways. What we love to do in our drinks is to, is to mix different uh, spirits. And we can do whatever we like. We don't mind. And we always put a little bit rum on it. Like here, in this drink that we call it cardiocleptomani. Um, it's a whiskey soda drink. It's um, a kind of soft, long drink. But what we've done is that um, we made a blend of malt whiskies and we add Martinique Agricole rum. So malt whiskey, uh, fresh Martinique rum, not very often find it, surprisingly much beautifully. And we loved it. And we also had some tastes or essence. Essences are something we use a lot to add flavors. Uh, we add green apples. We add pears. That means freshness. That makes it more fresh. And at the end, you can find it in the dry apricot develop. It's fantastic. And this is just a whiskey soda. If someone comes and asks, can I have a whiskey soda? Yes, sure. Take a cardio clip of money. And he drinks rum, so he doesn't know. Um, now, after that, you know, we are a rum bar, so we are not a tiki bar, but we love to make our tiki mugs to serve our tiki drinks. Because as a rum place, we have the chance to make, uh, to mix and blend a lot of different rums and make our own exotic or post-exotic cocktails, as we call them. So this is our own with our shape. You can find them if you ever come there. And um, this is another design that we develop. And it's like a, a shaker. Uh, for us, shaker is something we love. And we have to say that Baba Ram, we are happy and very proud to be awarded as one of the world's 50s best bars. Three, four actually, but don't tell, times in 2013. 2016, 2017, and we are very, very curious to see we, we will be in 2018. That will be next week. We are, don't tell. Also, uh, many times, 
uh, we have been declared as best bar in Greece. And in the uh, New Orleans, which is the, that beautiful show, Tales of the Cocktail, we had some, uh, let's say, awards, not exactly awards, but we were on the top 10 list two times as the best high volume cocktail bar, uh, one time for our cocktail menu and one time for our spirit selection. And another thing we do as a team in the, in the, in the bar is that we publish a magazine which is called Fine or Fine Drinking Magazine. So it's a, it's a journal about the art of fine drinking. It's an artistic magazine. We want to see it in a kind of art thing. And uh, yeah, finedrinkingmagazine.com is where you can see more details if you like or enter the Facebook. And uh, uh, now I'm going to tell you one thing. Next week we go to London and next week after that, we go to Berlin, which is the bar corner in Berlin in there. If anyone of you is there, we're going to do something we love to do, and it's the third time we do it in different cities. So we're going to go to Berlin, Baba Goes Berlin, and set a Baba Ram there for three days. It will be a whole Baba Ram experience for the people that cannot come to Athens. We come to you, the whole team, bartenders, waitresses, DJ. Even our barbuck will be there. We have a menu with uh, a lot of cocktails, rums. Will you come over? Yes? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So this is our poster. One of the world's 50 best bars coming to town for three days of cocktails, rum, fun, and music. Because nowadays, we don't want to be only a fine drinking bar. We want to, to have a really good time, a fun time. A beautiful thing. And uh, I talked before to you for the Fine Drinking Magazine, you remember? So last year, I wasn't personally here, but the people of Fine Drinking Magazine were here, and this is what they brought back. A beautiful article about Barometer 2017. So I guess I have a, a little, uh, my, this is a little uh, more crowded hall, but who is that guy? I don't know him. Probably a new one. I don't know why you, you went to this guy and not to me. But anyway, he's a bad guy. I'm the good one. Okay? So, thank you very much. I'm Thanos, as I said. Uh, I will be very happy to see you in our pop up bar. And um, I wish you all the best. Travel a lot, be open minded, and love people. Thank you very much for everything. So one more time, let's hear it for the Greek god of the bar scene, Thanos! <laughs> yeah.